Yo, what's happening, world? Be Marsh Boxing, and I'm back at it once again for another boxing video. Covering this fight, we have at a 108 pounds, vacant title on the line, IBF version. We got Hector Garcia, undefeated out of Mexico. I believe 20 wins, zero losses. I can't remember how many KOs. He find this kid out of South Africa by the name of Nantushinga. Nantushinga is undefeated as well. 10 wins, zero losses. Nine KOs coming into this fight. And this was an excellent fight, ladies and gents. At 108 pounds, these fellas put on. The South African travels from his country, comes all the way to Mexico to fight for the vacant title. In the first round, he's actually uh, fighting from the outside. He has this guy, um, Hector Garcia, dumbfounded by the jab. He, get, he can't get past the jab. He's getting peppered with the jab. And he, the fight is basically from the outside, being dictated by the man... Um, Nantishinga, round two. Nantishinga puts this guy, Garcia, on the canvas, puts him on the back pack, on his back pocket, you know what I mean? A vicious straight right. You know what I mean? Actually, it was a looping right hook, right hand, you know what I mean? Went around the guard of Garcia. Garcia hits the canvas, boom, he's already down in the hole. That's a 10 8 round. Round three, I also gave it to the man, um, Nantishinga, although Garcia started to pick up the pace, closing the distance getting on the front foot and um, going to the body. I mean, <clears throat> round four as well uh, was the first round I gave to the man Garcia. Garcia even busted his shit. You know, he got caught and he got his whole uh, middle of his forehead was split and he was leaking. Let me hear what the South Africans saying one time. <laughs> Young dude fought an excellent fight, you know what I mean? Round five as well, I gave it to the Mexican um, Garcia, you know. He closed the distance. He found out that Nun Tushinga looks uncomfortable when the fight is on the inside. And he started going to work, you know what I mean? But after round six and seven, Nun Tushinga picked up the pace, adapted, adjusted, stuck into the, um, stayed in the, in the pocket, phone booth style, and he started to bang out too, you know what I mean? He'll get caught. But that he's also throwing his, you know what I mean? Which makes it that now a difficult round to call, you know. But uh, round six and seven, I gave it to Nantushinga, you know what I mean? Uh, Nantushinga, uh, his punches were not quite as effective on the inside. Yeah, he's catching him. Body shots, short little uppercuts and right and left hooks. But at the end of the day, Nantushinga's power was more effective when he's fighting on the outside, when he has the opponent at range, and he was peppering him with the jab and the straight right when he had Hector on the outside. But Hector's a tough customer, a tough competitor, a guy who doesn't know how to lose. The guy came into this fight undefeated. And uh, I gave him round nine. What was it? No, excuse me, round eight. You know, um, Nante Shinga looked like he was getting tired and exhausted from all the close body work that the man... Um, What's his name was putting on? Uh, the Mexican, Hector Garcia. But at the end of the day, you know, this fight turned out to be a very good fight, competitive fight. The last couple rounds, you know, uh, I had Nantushinga winning round 12, so, and I had this dude winning round 11. So I had this fight eight rounds to four with a couple swing rounds in there, with a swing round, excuse me, which easily could have gone maybe personally to... The Mexican, and even if it, that was the case, he would have lost a mock scorecard, seven rounds to five. But I initially have this fight, eight rounds to four. Congratulations to the new and not only the new IBF uh, title holder at 108 pounds, a title that was at, uh, that was, um, what you call it, uh, vacated by that kid. Was it Rene Alvarado? I believe so. Well, we have another African champion. Not that we have many, you know what I mean? But uh, congratulations to the new South African champion with the IBF strap. Nantushinga, salute. I'm going to get his first name correct. This is my first time seeing him fight. Proud of the kid. He did well. And hopefully he can retain that belt and keep it for many defenses. I'm gone. Peace.